Hey, what's going on everyone? Today it's the 17th of December 2023. Here to talk about XRP. Uh, going to give you all a prediction update for this currency. You guys can see that it hasn't been long since we've done our last video for XRP right there on December the 7th. And we were expecting the market in XRP to go up and it did. And as you all can see, price got rejected right here at our sales zone on December the 9th. Isn't that amazing how you can actually predict way ahead of time, preferably in this situation, those two days, that the market could see potential increased selling pressure right there around 70 cents. And that is what the market have shown us on December the 9th. Take a look at the volume as well on December the 9th as well too. Look at that. So that confirms to us that that weakness and selling definitely occurred at that level. So what does it mean going forward? Well, it means that the buyers would definitely have to attempt to break this sell zone up here around 70 cents in order for us to see the price go up. So as of right now, we should not be that drastically bullish in the market in XRP. It is what it is. The market goes through gyrations. It becomes bullish and then it becomes bearish and then becomes weak and then becomes strong. It becomes a buyer's market, it becomes a seller's market. You just have to learn how to maneuver in between those different changes of market sentiment, okay? So let's go ahead and get rid of this price prediction right here in XRP. That was our first target into the market in XRP right there around that sell zone. The lower end sell zone, which is around 10 and three quarters. Pretty good call for those who caught that. If not, there'll be many more opportunities, all right? So you can see here that currently, this is one issue for the buyers up here around 70 cents. This is the second issue into the market for the buyers in XRP. Right around here is where another potential sell zone is, okay? Now each stair step down is gonna cause more problems for the buyers. Not only will this upper sell zone cause issues, this next sell zone will also be a problem. And you can even see here on the daily time frame from yesterday's price action that this may be a sell zone as well. So the market has a lot of work ahead of itself if it wants to go up in XRP. It's pretty much what I'm trying to show you off the chart from a daily perspective. Let's look at XRP on the weekly time frame. Okay, so when you look at all of these weekly price bars in conjunction with this sell zone up here, do you think the market XRP is bullish or bearish? From my perspective, I will say that it is a little bit more bearish than it is bullish right now. Okay, from this weakness to that weakness, and now you can see that the market currently is still trending to the downside. A positive catalyst that I can see is, let me show it to you, is that the price is holding support right here. Okay, that's a good thing. It kind of lets me know that yes, we do recognize the market is weak in XRP right now, but there's still a slight chance that the market can still hold support around 60 cents or yeah, 60 cents and continue to trend up higher in price. And that goes along with this trend that XRP currently is on too. Here is XRP on the five day time frame. Okay. So you can see off of the weakness off this five day price bar, we should have seen the market go lower in XRP, but it didn't do it. It is still holding support there. So this whole area to me look like it's becoming accumulation. Like the overall market is holding price, the buyers are. They're trying to absorb whoever's trying to sell their XRP into the market. Here it's on the three day time frame. Take a look at XRP on the two. XRP on the seven hour chart. Okay. Here it is on the five, XRP on the 30 minute chart. So you can see not too much is going on in the market in XRP. So we have to take like a, a zoom out approach as to what we suspect the market in XRP is about to do in a longer term. Here it is in a two weekly time frame. Take a look at the market. This two weekly price bar to go along with this current one. We still have six hours and 43 minutes left, but it looks pretty bearish. We have to suspect that the market in XRP is pretty much weak that we're going to expect the price to go lower okay look at that on the five weeks we have six hours though six hours and 43 minutes but it still looks weak there too so that is going to be my price prediction in the market for xrps for price to go lower and we're just going to show you where we think price is headed now this idea of us looking for xrp to go down is going to be contingent on seeing price trade below our upper sell zone as long as price does not break above this sell zone, the market has a greater uh, potential from my vantage point of going lower in price, okay? Now, here is one target right there. 
real close to where price currently is. 59, almost 60 cents. It's only 3.68% move lower from where the price is trading at now in XRP. That's one target. Second target is going to be at this buy zone right here. Okay, we want to see the market in XRP hold this buy zone, which is around 57 cents. 7.9% there. My third target, though, is going to be all the way down here towards this trend line, okay, which is 17.82%. Anywhere or alongside this trend line will have to be another target, a third price target for us. Okay. So that's it. Not hard, not complicated. I think the market has a greater potential to see lower prices as of this particular moment. Definitely on the longer term charts is where we're seeing the weakness. But of course, anything can change. Buyers can still hold price at 60 cents, like I told you earlier in the video. If that happens, then we need to change our price prediction. Simple, right? Go ahead and give me your thoughts. Make sure you maintain the profitability. And as always, trade different.